Hey guys, Danny Crisp here for CDL Yeah. Hey, if you like these videos and you're finding them helpful and you decide to make the choice to apply to Prime, the right choice, do me a huge favor and use my referral code. Let's earn the dirt together. All right, very excited to finally be getting out here for this Sunday 7. Now, these seven exercises have always treated me really well. It's a great way to incorporate the equipment that's on the truck, but there's a lot of different ways you can incorporate this flatbed equipment. But if you are not a flatbedder, that's no problem. There's a lot of different ways you can get involved in exercises. We can be doing push-ups, we can be doing pull-ups, walking, running, bicycling. There's a lot of different ways you can get active and get that metabolism going. But if you are a flatbedder, these are some great exercises you can incorporate the equipment with. So let's just jump right in. All right, so this first exercise is gonna be incline sit-ups. Now what I've done is I've taken a strap and two tarps and created an incline bench. This is something that you can do very simply with the equipment on the truck. And this can be used also with incline bench press, other exercises as well. So let's jump right into some incline abs. Okay, so as we talked about here, we have our two different tarps we've laid perpendicular over each other and thrown that strap over the top. It's a real easy way to create that incline bench. Joe's gonna show us some simple exercises here we can do uh, with this decline position from the incline bench that get our abs worked out pretty well. Um, obviously, you can do as many of these as you'd like, and then over time, if you want, you can add some weight that's gonna create even more resistance. Um, this has always been one of my favorite ways to kind of integrate different workouts. So. Uh, there we have our uh, beginning exercise, working that core. Okay, great exercise there. Got the abs working, kind of start the fires a little bit. Now the second exercise, we're gonna do shoulder extensions. We're gonna use our chains and integrate two different exercises to work two different muscle groups of those shoulders. So let's jump right into that. All right, so this next exercise, real simple, is gonna be that shoulder extension. Couple different ways we can do it. What's nice about these chains is as you begin, begin getting stronger, you can kind of bunch up more of it in your hands and it's gonna inherently create more of a resistance. So uh, this first exercise, real easy, just kind of up and out. And we can do three sets of 15, no big deal. And then forward as well is a good way to get the front of that shoulder worked out a little bit. Two easy exercises we can use with our chains uh, to get our shoulders worked out. Great couple exercises there, getting our shoulders engaged. Now, let's move on to getting our biceps involved in this. We can use some curls using that pry bar and just wrapping that chain around it in such a way that it'll create some resistance. Now, obviously, the more chain you add to it, the more resistance. So you can kind of build over time and eventually even add two chains. Kind of depends on what you want to do. But let's take a look at that. Okay, great. So this next exercise is going to be your basic bicep curl, but we're going to use the pry bar and that chain like we talked about. So Joe, if you don't mind grabbing that thing for us and exhibiting some basic curls here. Now the chain will move around a little bit, so you kind of want to lay it in a way that it's not going to fall off a little bit, but you know, you're going to still get that resistance. And again, as you become stronger, you can add more, you can add that second chain that we talked about here, um, but a very simple bicep curl to kind of get the front of our arms worked in. Okay, so great exercise there, working our biceps. Now let's jump back into our shoulders a little bit using that same bar and chain that we just created and do some of these lateral front raises. This is a great way to get our shoulders exercised in kind of a different way with a little bit more resistance. And what you can actually do if you do these exercises, shoulder exercises back to back is create what's called a superset. Some of you guys that like exercise a lot know about these supersets and it's a great way to get a specific muscle group worked uh, a little bit heavier. So let's jump into some of those lateral raises. Okay, great. So we can use that same apparatus that we just made and again, integrate our shoulders a little bit more with these kind of lateral front raises, right? And again, as we become stronger, we can add more weight and continue to build. That's kind of an easy way to work the front of that shoulder a little bit. All 
All right, great exercise there, getting our shoulders back involved. Now, uh, an exercise you can always do, even with or without equipment on the truck, is a dip. So we're gonna use our tarps here to create a little elevated position and work some, some dips into our exercise routine. So let's jump into those. All right, so here we have a, a tricep dip, pretty simple stuff. Setting that tarp up straight like this allows us to have enough of an inverted position to be able to get low enough to work the triceps pretty easily. So this can be done with a tarp, it can be done with a, a tall concrete wall. There's a lot of different ways to get the uh, dip in and work your tricep. Okay, so this one is one of my all time favorites. What we're doing here is a shoulder press, an overhead shoulder press, and we're gonna use our three different tarps to create a drop set. Now, if you've ever done any sort of uh, exercise classes before, you may have heard of this term drop set. It's where you do sequential sets with lower weights to try and continue to burn out, to work yourself to a point of what they call failure. So we're gonna work in our three different tarps, different weights, we're gonna work them and rep them as much as we can, and then go to failure. So let's take a look at that. All right, so here we have the overhead shoulder press. Again, we're gonna do it as a drop set. Uh, we're gonna do this, just as an example, we'll do three, five, and then seven. But obviously you could do more reps as you get more comfortable with this. Uh, it can be a little difficult, so you could even start with this and then move on to that and work your way up to this end tarp because we know it's the heaviest. So let's just jump right in. We'll do three, five, and seven. Ugh. Use your knee to get this over your head. Ugh. And once it is, one, two, three. Drop, pick up. One, two, three, four, five. Drop, pick up. And then smoke tarps, pretty simple. Three, four, five, six, seven. So that's our drop set with our overhead shoulder press. Uh, one of the ones where we really get to earn the dirt there. All right, great exercise there. That overhead shoulder press, one of my all time favorites. Now, this next exercise is about getting the legs involved. It's not always easy to do. We're just gonna do a classic front squat, holding our smoke tarp, dropping down and coming back up. You can do this exercise really with any sort of resistance uh, or with no resistance at all and just use body weight. So let's take a look at this front squat. All right, so here we have just a simple front squat. Joe's gonna grab this smoke tarp, relatively light for our resistance. We're just gonna hold it in front of our body and do that simple squat motion. Now you can do this without any weight, uh, a smoke tarp, or you can add weight as well. It's just important to try and integrate that lower body into our workout and that front squat is a great way to do that. All right, so there we have the Sunday seven. Those are some of my favorite exercises, but as we can see, there's a lot of different ways to get creative with that equipment that's on the truck. So if you're a flat better and you have some other exercises that you like, please feel free to comment below or reach out to me directly. I always like kind of building up the repertoire. If you are not a flat better, that's okay too. There's a lot of different ways to integrate exercises. You can get yourself some free weights on the truck, a bicycle. It's just important to get active and stay active. Now, hopefully there's been some helpful content for you guys. I really appreciate you coming out for the Sunday seven. Okay, a lot of good information was covered in this episode on how to maintain a healthy lifestyle while driving over the road. From how to have a plan in order to keep our guard up, keep our fires hot and keep that fridge full, from some of the foods to maybe be more considerate with and how we consume them, and then some strategies on how to stay active while we're driving. Now, in the following episode, we're gonna be discussing our drive efficiencies. This is things like fuel economy, route planning, our logs, how to run and how to save. I'm looking forward to it, and I'm looking forward to seeing you there. Kind of classic dip style, dip, 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 dip. I can't, I don't know. I <sighs>